DubDub is just around the corner and that means we are getting new software updates and maybe we get some hardware as well. Let's look at what we could expect at this year's DubDub. First off, iOS. One of the rumors that have circled around for a long time is an always on display. But at the same time, the Apple Watch didn't get always on display until it got an LTPO display that went down to 1Hz. And there are rumors that the iPhone 14 Pro will get such a display. So maybe Apple will wait until announcing the iPhone 14 Pro to unveil this feature. And it might also be an 14 Pro exclusive. The Messages app is also rumored to get some updates. It will apparently get more social media-like features and enhanced audio messages. They're also supposed to come wallpapers with widget-like capabilities. Speaking of widgets, please give us interactive widgets. Apple, please. The health app is also set to get some updates, including expanded sleep tracking, medicine management, and some specific health features for women. iPadOS doesn't have that many rumors surrounding it, but a few rumors we have heard are presumably multitasking improvements and multi-window support. As for macOS, there might be redesigned default apps, and the name could be macOS Mammoth. WatchOS is rumored to get the power saving mode and some new workouts and tvOS could get expanded HomeKit integration. As for hardware, we might get an M2 chip that will be the successor to M1, meaning it will replace the M1 but are not faster than the M1 Pro. It still has an 8-core CPU and could get a 9-10-core to 10 core GPU, and most likely some ProRes encoders and decoders. With a new M2 chip, we are expecting a redesigned MacBook Air with colors. As for ports, it will probably only have two USB-C ports and MagSafe, and it could get white pastels with a notch. And last but not the least, the AR VR headset. Personally, I'm skeptical about an announcement of this product at DubDub. That's mainly because we have heard there are delays from in production and there they have had some problems. But Apple has reportedly shown this product to its board of directors. So who knows? It might make sense if Apple released it as a dev kit to make developers more familiar with the product and the upcoming reality OS for this headset. Then again, there have been some reports about delays, so who knows. So this is what we can expect to see at DubDub this year. And hopefully Apple will have something more to show us that will be a surprise. I have really missed those days where we are surprised by the Apple events. So are there anything you want to see at Monday's event? Let me know down in the comments. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more tech-related content.